Hi guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I am going to set up Apache Kafka 4.0 version in Windows. So let's start it. First, we need to download Apache Kafka 4.0 zip file. For downloading it, we need to just type Apache Kafka download. Press enter. And open this uh, Apache Kafka quick start link. And uh, on this page, here is a download link already available. So click on this download link. And this will redirect to this apache.org page. So here uh, we have provided one uh, link to download Apache Kafka 4.0 tar file. So click on this link and our Apache Kafka file is downloading. It is around 126 MB. Now our file is downloaded, open this file in download folder, so I don't want to extract here in download folder, so I am just copy and paste this file in my D drive, so cut and paste here and here just extract it extract all uh, I want to change the folder name Apache Kafka and inside this folder it just unzip our Apache Kafka file so inside this folder we have this Kafka files which we have downloaded so I want to rename this folder also rename it and keep it simple Kafka so inside D folder we have Apache Kafka folder and inside this Apache Kafka folder we have this Kafka folder which we have downloaded so inside this Kafka folder we have another bin folder and uh, inside this bin we have this .ss files which are required for the Mac and Linux OS and for Windows we have a separate folder and inside this Windows folder we have this .batch file and this is the config folder inside config folder we have dot properties file and this is the lib folder lips folder contains dot jar file and this is the license and uh, this is the side docs and one more things to run apache kafka 4.0 version in your system we need JDK 17 version so let's check JDK version so open CMD here and, uh, Java version so as we can see I have Java 17 installed in my machine now we want to run Apache Kafka server in our system so to run Apache Kafka server uh, close this uh, we need to do some config changes uh, in server.properties file to run Apache Kafka in Windows otherwise 
it will gives some exception uh, like this uh, this is the url for running start kafka server in craft mode so if i run this uh, command it will give exception so let's check here so without any uh, config changes i want to start kafka server in my window so press here so as you can see we are getting error what is the error Egg, uh, exiting kafka due to fatal exception and what is the exception no readable meta dot properties file found so it can't able to find meta dot properties file that's why it is giving error so how we can fix it for fixing it we need to change some config changes in server dot properties file so you need to follow these steps which i have mentioned here what is the first step in server dot properties file change log dot dir path so just open the server dot properties file uh, open the d inside the we have this apache kafka folder inside this we have this kafka folder so server dot properties file is inside this config folder okay it's contain all the properties file and this is the server dot properties and open it with uh, notepad plus plus okay and we need to change uh, this log log dot dirs so just find log dot dir properties yes it is here at line number 73 so just comment the previous one and paste the new path here okay so i am giving this path inside the d drive apache kafka folder inside this we have kafka folder and inside this kafka folder we have this logs folder so first step completed and what is the second step create log folder in kafka installation directory one leaf log folder not available so we need to check is log folder available here or not okay so it's just created log folder inside this log folder we have some dot log file so second step also completed and what is the third step write this command in server dot properties set controller dot quorum dot voters so we need to paste this key value pair also in server dot properties file to set controller dot quorum dot voters so we can paste it here uh, okay so here is the controller dot quorum properties so just paste below this properties okay so what is this one and what is this localhost 9093 so one is the node id and localhost 9093 is the controller listener port what is the fourth step run this command to generate random eu id so copy this and we need to run this command to generate random eu id so this is the random eu id just copy it and paste somewhere okay here and after eu id what is the next step what is the fifth step run format command so we need to run this command 
and we need to replace this EVU ID with the new EVU ID which I copied here. So just do this, copy it and paste here. Now copy the whole command and run it. So this is uh, this command is used for format. Press enter. So it's formatting the metadata uh, directory, which we have created uh, inside this log folder. So it's just uh, formatting this directory which we have created. Okay, and this is the metadata directory which contains all the metadata like logs and other files. Okay, so this is step also completed. And what is the next step? Sixth step uh, run this command to start Kafka server in craft mode. So we need to run this command to start the Kafka server. So as we can see here, uh, in this command, uh, this is the dot symbol. Dot symbol represent the current directory, and this is the backslash which is used in Windows. And this is the bin folder. Inside bin folder, we have Windows folder. Inside Windows folder, we have Kafka server start dot batch file. So uh, we can check here. Inside the bin, we have Windows. And here uh, we need to Kafka server. Uh, Kafka server start dot batch file. Okay, so it's running it's, uh, this command. Want to run this batch file, and uh, also it fetch some uh, configuration from this dot properties file. Okay, server dot properties file. So press enter. Now it's uh, starting the Kafka server. Yes, so here we can see Kafka server started and it's uh, started at port number 9092. So don't close this uh, uh, command prompt, otherwise. Uh, our Kafka server uh, shut down. So just minimize it. And what is the next command? Create topic producer and consumer. So for creating the topic, I'm going to copy this command and Okay, so we need to uh, open another CMD. So this is our root folder Kafka. Open another CMD and paste this. So our server already started. Now we want to create a topic. Uh, so inside this window folder we have this uh, kafka dash topic dot batch file and this is the create command i want to create the topic and this is the topic name my topic and this is the bootstrap server so what is bootstrap so it is our uh, kafka server is also known as bootstrap in kafka so this is the url of our bootstrap server or kafka server and the url is localhost 9092 just press enter and it will create a topic with the topic name my topic okay create a topic my topic so now our topic created and what is the next command so after creating topic we want to create producers and consumer for producing the record and consumer for consuming the record 
so let's copy this url for creating the producer so we can use this uh, window command prompt window for creating the producer uh, so this is the producer dot batch file and the topic is my topic it's producing the record to my topic and this this is the boot step server url localhost 9092 press enter so it's created a producer and our next task is we need to create a consumer so for creating the consumer we can use another command prompt separate command prompt cmd and uh, create the consumer so copy this command for create a consumer and this is the command prompt so it runs uh, this batch file kafka console consumer batch file and topic is my topic and it run uh, and from beginning means it uh, just read the topic from the beginning and this is the boot step server url and press enter here so now our consumer is also ready so just uh, place side by side our producer and consumer so here we can write anything to produce the data on apache kafka topic or to send the data to apache kafka topic so press enter so here uh, as we can see immediately our consumer start consuming the data from my topic so hi learners you can type anything i hope I hope you enjoying this. Uh, uh, sorry, Apache Kafka series. I'm pressing enter, and you can see immediately consumer is consuming the data from the my topic. You can type anything here. Okay, so in this way we can set up the Apache Kafka 4.0 version in Windows environment. That's all in this video. Thank you for watching.